Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Salem. And we're here the day after the rapture, and uh, apparently we're still here. Uh, no surprise. And um, I thought tonight I would talk a little bit about a subject near and dear to my heart, which is sense of humor. And uh, yesterday, uh, some of our people were making a lot of jokes about the, uh, the, the famous rapture experience. And uh, some of our other people were a little upset about this. We had one person who got very upset about the fact that people were making jokes about this uh, because they felt it was denigrating to other religions. Um, and, you know, my, my response to this in part is first, I think that more Christians are making jokes about it than pagans by far. Uh, and I think that uh, in a lot of ways, the only way to have reacted to this situation, uh, well, certainly the most positive way to react to it was through humor. Because what else are you going to do? I mean, I suppose you could. Uh, there, are, there are a lot of less positive ways one could react to it. I think humor was a pretty positive way. I think that when people do things like this, it is appropriate to point out the inherent silliness of it. Um, I think that this entire situation, uh, which played out yesterday, is in a manner of speaking a form of spiritual terrorism. Uh, it does tremendous amounts of psychological damage to those who buy into it, particularly when it then does not come to pass, as it never, ever does, or ever, ever will. Um, and I think sometimes it causes considerable physical damage. I've heard that there was a uh, a case where a, a mother murdered her child in the belief that the world was about to end. I don't know if that's true or not, but I've heard it. Uh, I've heard about people who um, who gave things away or made other life-altering decisions based on the idea the world was about to end, who must be terribly upset now. And I don't think it's a good thing when these people do this. I do want to point out, uh, we talked about this on Pagan Tonight Radio last night, and the point was made that, you know, we mustn't lump all Christians together. This is not all Christians. This is a small sect of them, a group of sects of them that are particularly virulent in the United States, uh, much less common in some other parts of the world, although it's not only here. But uh, it's not the mainstream Christians do this. Uh, it's, it's the nuts on the fringe. We all have nuts on the fringe. We pagans certainly have our share of nuts on the fringe. Um, and the comment was made that most Christians look at um, Pastor Camping, who, who masterminded this rapture thing, Probably in the same way that most Muslims look on the, on the Muslim extremists who engage in terrorism as something that has little to do with their faith or their understanding of it and something that they're acutely embarrassed by. And I think most Christians probably are rather embarrassed by and or offended by what this man did and um, as horrified by it as we are. And as I was saying, I certainly think that most of the jokes that were made about it probably were coming out of the Christian community far more than out of any other religious community, and with good reason. Uh, but what I want to say about that is I think also that when making jokes in general, I think that it behooves everyone to maintain a sense of perspective and to have a sense of humor about themselves and about the world they live in. I don't think it's beneficial to us uh, to, be e to be among the easily offended. Uh, the easily offended rarely do anything positive in my experience. And having a sense of humor um, really is a little bit of a reality check um, to whether or not you, you are, um, to whether or not you have a good self-image, really. Because if you have a good self-image, you have a good sense of humor about yourself. It doesn't mean that there aren't things that can offend you, but you know the difference. So those are my thoughts for today. I hope you enjoy them. And until next time, may you bless